I'm going to be giving away some true Hogyoku, so if you want those, make sure you like, subscribe, comment your username down below, and then join my Discord, link in the description. I'll be giving away a bunch of other stuff too when the update drops, and uh, yeah, I'll be farming for y'all some more uh, items just to give away, because I don't need them. Alright boys, so I was actually going to save this video until like, after I wake up, but there is a lot of stuff going on and I just need to talk about it real quick, and it might not be real quick because there's a lot to talk about and just go over in general so let's just get into it so big announcement i'm just gonna go through it slowly he basically says most of the updates and sneaks i post are f vague for a reason i really like the updates and things added to be surprising with that said though after this up following update we'll be focusing on phase two let's keep that in mind phase two of the game which is focusing on new major content we have planned there will still be balance changes and content added, but most of the effort will be planned on getting the next big update out, which is a very big step in the right direction because I feel like this game needs a lot more just content because yes, they add abilities, they add new stuff, um, like new bosses, stuff like that, but those bosses don't really do anything, you know what I mean? Like, like you don't go and kill them, they don't drop anything special. I think the game is in a pretty good state for now, and I could probably just play the PvP out for like another month, and I'd be satisfied. But I do still think that it needs quite a bit more, you know, stuff to it, which is good. But continuing on, he says, to be more transparent about some of the for future, haha, <laughs> future updates that are planned. Sorry, I'm like super tired. Uh, new maps, which I'm assuming this means new maps for like everything, not just KT, but he mentions here. Stuff KC will have different districts and be similar to how Shibuya is layout wise, which is an interesting notion because I don't even, I don't know, it, maybe it's going to be a teleport to different parts of KT or I have no clue. But I'm assuming that he's also talking about other maps like Waco Mundo and the, you know, Quincy plays Wandenreich and then also, I guess, Soul Society. And I think he says hell here because they're adding hell as a place i don't know if that's like you know end game end game or something but but the biggest thing that he mentions here is they're adding true bankai and skurabirai and now uh this one is kind of confusing because i don't think unless you watch the show you probably wouldn't know but basically what he's saying here is they're adding segundas for quincy's and for our uh sorry Purse, which is insane Iran cards might not be that good after this drops. <laughs> Let's be honest. Because Segunda is already, like, it's really good. I think it competes with a lot of the Bankais and the other stuff. And if you have Segunda, like a light Segunda, you're probably just going to wipe the floor with any other race. But once true Bankai and Scalabarite comes out, bro, you're done. I'm sorry, you're just, you're just cooked. Like, those modes already can kind of compete with a lot of Segundas. But <laughs> if they get released, bro, oh my god. Now, this isn't the only news that I have to talk about. Now, I was originally going to make a video tomorrow on the Sneaks channel, because they've sneaked a lot of things. And by a lot of things, I mean, like, actually a lot of things. So, first, we have this new Volt thing. I don't know what it is. It's not Superstar, uh, so I have no idea what it is. But that's cool. This, I think, is just an emote, so maybe we're getting emotes in the next update. Um, or this, like, little X thing. Maybe it's the new, uh, Shikai? It could be the new Shikai? Or it could be a future Shikai? I don't know. I have no clue what this is, so I'm not even gonna say anything. Uh, this is the Superstar. And the Superstar takes a bar of Reiatsu for doing that, but I think he has, like, no Reiatsu, so I don't know. It does look really cool though. Um, we've also got the biggest thing in my opinion, which is the ice rework. I don't know if it's a Bankai rework or just a regular Shikai rework, but it looks like Rukia's. It could be a different one. It could be a completely different Shikai, but I really doubt they're gonna release two ice things in the game. I, I just don't think it's gonna happen. I feel like it's more possible for it to actually be a rework. And I also really hope it's a rework because I have ice and good God, if it's not a rework, I'm rolling, bro. I'm rolling. I don't know why. I just really don't enjoy ice that much. I just don't. I, I really just don't. But yeah, anyways. Um, last thing we got here is this screenshot of a Quincy gripping Espada 1. 
Now I have no clue what this is supposed to mean, and no clue where this place is, so I don't even know what to say about it. All I know is that this guy has a title, and he looks like an NPC, so maybe there's a there's a little new NPC um, PvE event thing to do, more content, I don't know, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's it for the video, I'll see you next time, peace.